heavens, hello. I bring you warm greetings from the war zone. It's definitely way overdue for an air pistol review. And I'm sure many are way overdue uh, for oil. So, let's take out a few. You know, I do all the trial and error with that. I should probably film a little bit more. It's usually just a little quick, you know, one shot disappointment or something like that. Either way, I probably should make little videos with it. Right, I guess first up, we're going to show off the 357. Now, the problem I had with this was I waited for this for about a good, um, I don't know, good few years, right? Uh, I went and got mine at, you know, it cost 400, uh, well, it cost the same. Um, like $89, right? But the thing on the side says, uh, on, on the package says 410 feet per second. And literally, like two weeks later, I go to Walmart and there's the same exact thing with it. With a new um, thing that says 365 feet per second. Either way, it's an all around really fantastic gun. I'm not going to take it out of its lock thing right now. We have better things to do. Today is about. It's going to be about uh, getting some oil, some long overdue, overdue oil, and uh, a few of my guns so they don't dry up on me. Okay, this is pretty easy. Uh, yeah, you get yourself a nice drop right there. Don't be afraid to uh, be a little generous. I'm sure a drop rolling down the side will not hurt it. Because watch, if you catch it quick, throw it in there upside down, it will use. That little bit. It'll roll right back down there. It'll roll right back down there and in where it's supposed to go. No fear. Of course, I like to keep that a little tighter. I don't want to rattle it around. At the same time, I'm not putting it in there too tight, uh, so tight that it uh, seals in. Before I put on uh, 357 away, right, I thought I'd tell you about these. Uh, you want to give the gun an extra kick? These are called Sands Palms, and they actually give it 20% extra, so it kicks the gun up, 20% uh, extra FSP. So it actually kicks the gun up to about 500 feet per second. Uh, and Black Diamond BBs most certainly do give it a boost. Those are by Umarex. Alright, I just did the DZ Powerline 415. Wait till it drop in there. Sorry I didn't show you, I was a better shit to fry. Uh, I call this gun the thumper. Those are just BB, BBs up to the top. I just had this at my brother's uh, not too long ago. Maybe about a month or two ago. And uh, she still shoots as hot as ever. Uh, it's rated at 495 feet per second. And it is one of the few that actually do what it says. Uh, I can't say enough good things about thumper here. And she's cheap. She's only 30 bucks. And yes, she's worth her own gun case. Huh. Definitely. I put that in the gun case above my $60 gun. Well, since we just mentioned her. And she is this <clears throat> the Daisy Powerline 5501. Now, let's see if I can get this in here. As you can see. Uh, take out the clip. Expose. She cocks back. Uh, being the, you know, uh, a blowback. It's the only blowback I have. Um, my collection. It is actually the weakest gun I have. It costs the same as two Daisy Powerline 415s, and I'm telling you, if you're going to get into a fight with them, you'd much rather the Daisy, you know, the 415s. Uh, this actually just probably looks pretty cool. But even with the Black Diamond BBs in it, and she has a weak stick mag that nobody likes, I think it's probably because they break easy. Uh, uh, honestly, I haven't um, put it through a uh, colonial graph or anything like that, but I think it shoots about 390. Alright, now onto the PFM16. I'm actually going to do this and one more because I'm strapped for time. The PFM16 shoots 410 feet per second. Uh, it is $40, non-blowback and all that, uh, and it is full metal and heavy. It is probably the only one of my BB guns I would consider pistol whipping somebody with. I mean, that is, yeah, it's pretty hardcore, but wait, she uses a nice stick mag, kind of like, 
Oh, let's drop some BB. And of course, with the black diamonds in it, she shoots almost about 500 feet per second easy. Of course, last but definitely not least, more like, you know, one of the best for last. Uh, I just threw the, the oil on his thing. It is the Gamo P430. And she is a pellet pistol. I really do enjoy this gun. Uh, she's just like the thumper. She thumps. Shoots prob probably about 500 feet per second. I gotta get it chronographed because, you know, pellets hit a little bit different being uh, that they're lead. Most of them are lead and the BBs are steel. So, with that in mind, this is one of the what I would call a fun gun. Hey, if I missed anything or you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. My big issue is which guns do I put in the case and which guns do I put in the holsters. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your people. God bless you all. See those clouds are behind the moon. Yeah, they know it's going to rain. It's supposed to rain. I heard rain. Behind the moon. We're not going to get snow. We're going to get snow.